everyone this is life in florida my name is ari come over here let me show you something what i found today So look at these little plants they are cocoa plants they are native to south florida southwest florida south florida and um, we just planted this one actually i planted this uh, this year a couple of months ago and they were about half of this size so they they're growing um moderately not too fast but and Today, as I checked on the passion fruit, it was any it, it was any drop. Look what I found. They are already fruiting. I mean, not a ton of fruit yet, but just enough that we can have a taste. You want to come closer to see the cuckoo plums? Very first time I saw them at the parking lot and uh, um, then that's where i tried it first and i really liked it actually they are kind of uh, i like the texture it's like a white um it reminds me to cotton candy the the consistency and the look of it it reminds me to cotton cotton candy uh, other than that it's not like a whole ton of flavor but it gets some sweetness and uh, that's actually pretty enjoyable to me so let's get a taste of this it's a good size good size plum I'm gonna just use my shirt for now clean it up a little bit and uh, I know it's ready because of the color it's a dark purple color but of course there is other um, uh, types as well this one is the uh, red tip or the purple tip and there is a green tip and then there is also a horizontal cocoa plum that one is uh, uh, doing well with um, uh, sand sandy soil and salt these aren't that high in salt tolerance as the that one I think for me what it works with this fruit is the consistency I love I love it the consistency taste wise it's really not 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 a strong flavor by any means but it gets the sweetness no bitterness for me it's enjoyable So there's a lot more flesh. I can play with this for a little bit, a couple of minutes probably to take out this flesh. But what's really cool about this fruit that you can also eat the seed. You can toast them, you can eat them fresh. So I will also try the seed today. I never tried the seed yet, but I'm just learning that it's actually really high in oil content over 20 percent and you can actually make um, soaps and even um, like a candle and things like that from it so um, the reason why we end up getting these uh, cuckoo plums because I was thinking of getting um, a hedge and uh, we decided to get something that it's not just uh, useful as a hedge but it's also edible and uh, i'm really happy we chose the cocoa plums because you can eat the fruit very healthy uh, there is a ton of health benefits for it there is a uh, vitamin a c k um really good for your bones uh, it's um, cleaning the blood it's good for heart health 
um, it's um, good anti-cancerous fruit also it's a super fruit it's really underutilized I think a lot of people uh, I don't think a lot of people love it but the health benefits are um, unbelievable how many health benefits it got and um, what I wanted to mention the phyto uh, uh, nutrients that basically it's just fighting cancer uh, you can also make uh, jams um, I never tried it we never had so many I mean we just started to have a couple but uh, normally I just eat it out just you know fresh the way it I, if I see it in the, in the parking lot but what is really nice about these that I know that I'm growing them organically I don't put any pesticides down and anything really uh, that um, would affect us in the long run I had the parking lot I mean I, I had from there too but we never know what they use over there so just something to keep in mind and uh, I'm, I'm very happy that um, we finally, like I said, we have a fruit to taste and I'm going to taste the seed. And uh, in about another six months or so, we should have like a nice five to six feet of um, shrub, if all goes well. And uh, Of course, so uh, we can have a lot more fruit uh, next year. They grow very well uh, from cuttings. Um, you can also air layer them, and I actually planted seeds um, a while back when I very first tried them. I just planted the seeds, and they came up. They take a bit longer. They're not uh, like a super fast grower. But um, they are kind of slow to moderate grower. And uh, there is uh, the deep purple kind. There is the white colored one. And there is also a pinkish color one of this one. So yeah, it, it is a really, really good um, beneficial fruit to eat. It's not so much about the flavor but when you read up on it and you research like how healthy is this little itty bitty fruit and and then you're gonna be just amazed i think so i'm gonna open up this ready so like i said you can eat it fresh Or you can toast them. You can you also use the oil as uh, you would use almond oil. Hi, Eden. You wanna give it a try? No. I don't get a ton of flavor out of it from the seed. I can taste the, the oil content and I can understand why people toasting it probably they would get out the he just stole your brick better flavor <laughs> okay Actually, I get hints of um, just a little bit of bitterness in the end. Not too bitter at all. So yeah, I I found it very amazing that um, you can use the fruit, the seeds. Um, also, uh, in the islands, they're using up. Uh, 
um, leaves and roots uh, for several things I'm not going into that but you can research it on your own and uh, to see um, what's your conclusion about that but what I'm going to use it for is definitely the fruit and the seeds so I'm really happy that I planted these this year actually I'm gonna check the other side to see if maybe we have some extra um, fruit it's one of those fruits for me when you start to eat it you want to eat more because the, it's not a lot of flesh on it so you kind of want to have more more fruit so, let me see. so yeah there is no more fruit unfortunately for now but I'm still thankful that we actually had a chance to try that one so I think the mature the more mature they will become the more fruit they will they will give to us so I'm looking forward to it next year probably as far as growing them uh, they are um, adjusting very well they growing in acidic or alkaline um, they growing in very sandy soil like I said that the horizontal um, variety that basically just uh, covers covers the sand dunes and it just uh, helping the erosion of the or just holding it together alrighty so that was about the cocoa plums for today if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and push a like if you get any uh, information any new information and uh, thank you for your support bye guys